At the hospital, I was separated from alcohol for the last time. Treatment seemed wise, for I showed signs of delirium tremens. There I humbly offered myself to God, as I then understood Him, to do with me as He would. I placed myself unreservedly under His care and direction. I admitted for the first time that of myself I was nothing, that without Him I was lost. I ruthlessly faced my sins and became willing to have my newfound friend take them away, root and branch. I have not had a drink since. My schoolmate visited me, and I fully acquainted him with my problems and deficiencies. We made a list of people I had hurt or toward whom I felt resentment. I expressed my entire willingness to approach these individuals, admitting my wrong. Never was I to be critical of them. I was to write all such matters to the utmost of my ability. I was to test my thinking by the new God consciousness within. Common sense would thus become uncommon sense. I was to sit quietly when in doubt, asking only for direction and strength to meet my problems as He would have me. Never was I to pray for myself. Except as my requests bore upon my usefulness to others, then only might I expect to receive, but that would be in great measure. My friend promised, when these things were done, I would enter upon a new relationship with my Creator, that I would have the elements of a way of living which answered all my problems. Belief in the power of God, plus enough willingness, honesty, and humility to establish and maintain the new order of things, were the essential requirements. Simple, but not easy. A price had to be paid. It meant destruction of self-centeredness. I must turn in all things to the Father of Light. Who presides over us all? These were revolutionary and drastic proposals, but the moment I fully accepted them, the effect was electric. There was a sense of victory followed by such a peace and serenity as I had never known. Evie Thacker was a school friend of Bill Wilson, and battled his whole life with alcoholism, frequently landing in mental hospitals or jail. After one bender, three members of the Oxford group, Roland Hazard, F. Shepard Cornell, and Sebra Graves, convinced the court to parole Evie Thacker into their custody. Roland Hazard taught Evie Thacker the Oxford group principles. The Oxford Group principles and tenets are surrender, sharing, restitution and guidance and the four absolutes, honesty, purity, unselfish, love, 